Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Kevin's Micro Fleet coming to you with another Micro Galaxy Squadron review. We're taking a look at the Series 5 Scout Class Geonosian Battle Droid on the Stap. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the figure, at the vehicle, at the packaging. We'll do some measurements and we'll do a comparison. Let's go ahead and dive into the review. So let's go ahead and start here with the packaging. So the first thing is this beautiful PDQ display that they now have which has this, uh, it's essentially a case now with all of this fantastic artwork on the front and it flips up to be able to expose the boxes that are underneath. Unfortunately, with a lot of the retailers out there, as the employees are taking these out of the boxes, they're ripping the tops off of it, which is such a shame. Um, although I do like this design better than the previous ones where there was a box topper that had the art design that would just stick on the top and you'd lose that anyways. So uh, fantastic job with this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the individual box that we get these um, uh, Scout class vehicles in. So you can see the same artwork here is on the front. It's got the Series 5 and then all of this other stuff here on the side. On the side here, this does show you some identifying markers for just the, the lot and everything that it was made. But this is not actually going to be identifying what's actually inside the box. We turn this around you get a chance to see the UPC if you want that all of these are the same and then here on the side we get a chance to see all of the other uh, scout class that comes in this specific uh, series and then you also have your chases and rare so the one thing that is interesting about this is your chase and rare setup here got mixed so your chase uh, you typically will have your rares here and then your chase on this side which that's actually flipped around now, Boba Fett is the chase. Same thing with the bottom of the box. So um, now let's go ahead and take a look first here at the stand. So as we're looking at the stand here, this is a very clever design to have this little tiny, um, uh, whatever you wanna call that, indentation in there to be able to fit the speeder on. And so on the bottom of the speeder, it actually has like a little piece on here to be able to slide in there. It has the same thing on the side of it so that you could then be able to pop this guy on the side and fly it around if you wanted to, which is a great feature of the stands that they do. So now while I have this in my hand, we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual stat bike. So this is actually a battle damage stat bike. And so you can see that with some of the different paint detailing that they've done on this, and then you've got your little scorch mark there. Similar to what we've seen in previous classes that, uh, or series that they've done, that to do a battle damage vehicle, you just put a little bit of paint on the side of it and make it look battle damaged, which is totally fine. It's great to be able to get more steps. I mean, anybody that's trying to build out their uh, battle droid army. And then it does have this little C-clamp here on the back. So this C-clamp is still a very firm material. Um, in some of the other Series 5 vehicles that we've got that have the C-clamps, they're a little bit softer, which is helpful for being able to put the figure in and out and not damage it. And so that is that. I mean, this thing looks really nice. So uh, tons of detail on there, even with the engine. You can see there on the inside of the engine. So this guy measures in at almost an inch and a half, not quite an inch and a half tall. And now if we take a look at the battle droid himself, so this is the same exact mold that we're getting with all of the other battle droids. I do have some blue tack there on the bottom of his feet. So um, now this is this uh, reddish color. They're uh, saying that this one is the Geonosian battle droid which is totally fine. Um, it looks very similar to the AAT battle droid that we got um, with the tank in series two. And I would still say it looks pretty good. I mean, for what it is, it's just such a small figure to be able to get the detail in there that they did is really nice. I like it. So now if we measure him, we'll see that he is an inch tall. Now, before we move on too far, I do want to take a look at this figure relative to the Series 2 uh, Battle Droid. And so here is what they look like next to one another. So you can see the sculpt is the same. There's really no differences there. Same thing with the back. 
the backpack that they have on there is the exact same. You get to see just a little bit more of the detail in this uh, reddish figure, just because I think of the contrast more than with the tan one. But they are the same exact mold. And it's the same thing with the actual stat bike as well. So um, here I'll show these two compared. So here is your battle damage one versus your standard one. You can see, the, again, the difference there in the paint. doesn't have the paint on the side. And then as well, when we turn this thing around to this side, you can see the clean one versus the one that has some damage on it. Now, the other thing I wanted to do is compare this to the Anakin staff that we also get in Series 2, which is the same exact mold, but it's the blue color. I really do like that blue color a lot. Um, I hope that we get a chance to see this again at some point in the future. Um, series 2 was just a little bit of a challenge for people to get, um, other than getting them in the Amazon bundles, which there is a link down below for the Amazon Light Armor class bundles for Series 2, which I would highly recommend getting if you're trying to get one of the chases and rares for this. Now, the last thing I wanted to compare this to was actually the old Action Fleet version. So here is the Action Fleet version relative to the Micro Galaxy one. And when I originally got the Micro Galaxy one, I was thinking, wow, that, that Action Fleet one is so much better than this. And as I started to look at it, I was like, eh, not really. So the Micro Galaxy version is uh, much, much more detailed than what you're going to see with the Action Fleet. And then again, you've got your figure. You can see with the Action Fleet one, he's got the little peg hole there in between his feet to be able to get him to hold on. Just over the years, he's worn down, so he just kind of like sits there and doesn't really hold on to the bike anymore. But again, here's what it looks like from the front. So from a size perspective, the Micro Galaxy one is just a ever so slightly bigger than the uh, Action Fleet version. But there is a, a good comparison. So that is all I've got here for, uh, for your review. If you like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, you can check out all of the Amazon affiliate links that I have below in the description to be able to get the Light Armor Class bundles for Series 5 that do have this. These are popping up in Walmarts and Targets as well. And I'm sure they'll be in some of the other uh, places where you can find your Scout Class vehicles. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next review.